we're in Barranco, uh, the I guess the smallest of all the districts. Um, I think it's like 40, 50,000 people here, uh, right on the coast. And the legend is, if you can cross the bridge with one breath, you get a special wish to yourself. Ready, John? <laughs> Okay, we got our wish. And people are like very hard working, very uh, very hard working, humble people in general. And uh, even the like the humblest people are so generous and so uh, so nice. So it's that's pretty inspiring down here. tunnel and into the light. Um, in all of our projects, we work with health workers, with the promoters. Promoters is really important for us because they have uh, protagonists. In we recognize that it's important to give education, yeah. but if, if the community members don't have access to healthy food, then the education doesn't make it. Um, we are providing fruits and vegetables from the garden to the families. Yeah. My name is Margot Coelho. I was born in Cusco. I'm a tour guide, official tour guide in Cusco. Uh, well, we call them Inca, Inca people. That is for the nature. Nature, as a provider of everything, uh, was their mother. So they considered that, that nature as a mother. So they thought that everything here, it was a gift. My name is Edgar, Edgar Contreras, and we are my friends in Modai. This, this place was built by the Incas approximately 700 years ago. Okay, we are mountain biking in the Andes. 
Hey, Josie. Hello. Black quinoa, it's more nutritious than the white. Um, uh, life uh, is, is something that we got from 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 God or from the gods uh, as a gift. So every every day that we wake up, we should say thank you, because not many people had the opportunity, the chance that we are having, you know, to spend this time here. Mucho gusto, amigo. Hey, ¿Cómo te llamas? Daniel. Daniel. Hola, Daniel. Ah, I am Guido. Today we go to explore the Letty Tira House today, doing some kayaking, and right now we are at the harbor. Yeah, I, I live in Puno, but originally I come from the countryside. Very close to the Lake Titicaca. Importantly, Titicaca. Titicaca. Not Gaga. Caca. Caca. 
just speak three different languages. In the city of Spanish, that's north, people speak Quechua to this side, but to the other side, that's in you know, the south, people speak Aymara. We got about 150, flo 150 floating islands. We have something like 2,000 people living there. And then those guys who live there, they speak Aymara. The wife of him is not here, she's like a... Wet season is the hard period to be in here. Dry season, yeah, it is okay. Como te llamas? Yoselinda. Tu te llamas Yoselinda. Hola. We are parked up alongside a rainbow trap farm. Here. Part of a really large farm. Epejo, that holds you know all what people need you know to to be happy and anything like that and then I got all the dollars going aside whatever they want to buy that day in the future become true Uh, well, we're gonna say goodbye to Machu Picchu in my native language, Quechua, to Pananchis Kama, which means see you, because in Quechua there is no a goodbye. So to Pananchis Kama. <laughs>